Hey everybody, Viper Keeper here with a now rare Wednesday uh, appearance. Uh, sorry folks, uh, just been absolutely chaotic with work and everything, uh, trying to get through the past three months. Uh, almost done, uh, just have a little bit of busyness in the first uh, week of uh, December and then I'm uh, I'm working in my lab for the rest of the month. But that's not why I'm, uh, I'm doing this Wednesday's uh, uh, video. Is everybody keeps asking about uh, books to read. And since it's the holiday season, uh, regardless of what you believe in or don't believe in, uh, uh, still gift giving is popular uh, at the end of uh, a year. Uh, so what I would, thought I would do is uh, show you a few books uh, from my library that uh, I think is uh, are good books to have in your collection uh, as general learning books and uh, more detailed, sophisticated books for. Uh, those learned individuals that wish to uh, uh, better themselves. Uh, don't mind the noise, it's just a cat playing with a toy uh, over on the side. While another one prowls and looks to get into trouble. Grubs! Hi Grubs! Looks like Grubs is going to make her way over. Hi Grubs! Here kitty kitty! Come on, Grubs. Come on, Grubs. Uh oh. Here's trouble. Here's here's Knuckles too. Knuckles is approaching. Knuckles is doubling as a dust mop today, as he's our uh, feline Roomba, uh, crawling into all sorts of places that don't no normally get dusted. <laughs> Any rate. Uh, here's our first selection of the day, and I'll try not to bounce light off so you can sort of see it, and uh, if I can <clears throat> zoom in uh, from afar, uh, there we go. Uh, this book is uh, uh, Snakes, A Natural History. It's by a bunch of French people, Roland Bauchat, at least I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, who knew that the French could do snakes? I mean, I thought they were just into uh, wine, cheese, and baguettes, but, you know, who knew? Uh, at any rate, uh, this is a very fine piece of work that he, he put forth. Uh, it's got lots of non-venomous snakes and you know lots of venomous snakes and I'll just uh, I'll just uh, rattle off some of the contents here it's really done very nicely uh, snakes in the animal kingdom he does a portrait of them uh, a few of the other notable uh, sub-authors uh, do sections on the origin and evolution of the snakes diversity of the snakes then there's a whole sit, sit, um, section on biology of snakes, the nervous system, sensory organs, locomotion, physiology, reproduction and growth, predation and nutrition. Then there's a, a whole section on ecology of snakes, habitats and lifestyles of the rich and venomous, uh, I guess, uh, environments and population dynamics, coloration, postures and behavior. Uh, speaking of behavior, uh, Scarlett uh, spat in my face last night for the first time since uh, she arrived. Uh, from about, uh, oh, a little bit less than half a meter, so I got a real snootful. Uh, fortunately, we never trust spitters, and I was wearing uh, protective glasses, so my eyes were saved. Uh, although I did have to go and wash my face off uh, and change clothes. Uh, you know, that's one drawback that I don't like keeping spitters. Uh, uh, that's one of the reasons I don't, 
is because even if they don't get the venom in your eyes, it gets on your skin, you inhale some of the micro droplets, and essentially what it can do is it can sensitize you to snake venom, so not only is the venom toxic in its own right, but your body becomes allergic to it, and uh, can send you into anaphylaxis, which can kill you much faster than a snake venom. But anyway, that was just a side uh, point that I uh, thought I would include. Uh, and then the last one in the ecology of snakes is snake enemies, which is man, of course. Uh, uh, their natural uh, 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 enemies are pale uh, in comparison to you know, all the other uh, predators uh, out there. And, uh, you know, man certainly is, uh, you know, the enemy of, of most wildlife on the planet, uh, including themselves, but that's a whole different issue. Hey, hey, you dust mop, what are you doing? And then, uh, uh, there's a chapter on snakes and man, mythology, snake venom and pharmacopoeia, commerce, legislation, and protection, a bibliography including a common and scientific name index, which is very valuable for you folks that don't uh, uh, subscribe to the Latin names. Uh, so it all sort of puts it together. Uh, very nicely illustrated, lots and lots of pictures, very nicely done. Just a fantastic book, and what I'll do is uh, it is uh, again by Roland Bauchot, B A U C H O T. Uh, it's the ISBN number zero dash. 0869-0654-5. The publisher is Sterling Publishing, uh, Park Avenue, New York. Uh, now don't email me and ask me to repeat that. Just play the video again, folks, and keep a paper and pencil handy. Okay, so this is a fantastic basic book with great information. Uh, you know, okay, it was published in 1994, but, uh, you know, the basics is the basic. Uh, you know, you still have to learn the basics in order to move on to the advanced stuff, and, and this definitely, uh, has it all. Hey, you marauders, what the heck are you doing? We're about to have a kitty, uh, battle here. You can see grubs, and you can see knuckles. Hi, knuckles. Hey, Grubs. Oh, Grubs is still skittish. Oh, there goes uh, Knuckles, too. Okay. Uh, that's a very basic book. Now, if you want uh, true-to-life stuff, uh, you can check out uh, this true story about Joe Slowinski, who was a herpetologist uh, who was bitten by a crate uh, because he mistook it for a crate mimic. Uh, it was bitten on the finger in the remote areas of, uh, of uh, Miramar. Uh, it used to be called Burma. And was out in the sticks in the middle of a monsoon. Uh, medical help did not arrive. His party tried to keep him alive by providing him artificial respiration, but ultimately he died. Uh, helicopters couldn't come in because of politics and weather. Um, you know, it's an interesting uh, story how even the experts uh, screw up. Uh, the, the book is written by uh, Jamie James and it has, uh, you know, a wealth of information about, uh, about Joe and his uh, his life in science and all the human frailties. Uh, this book is uh, called The Snake Charmer again by uh, Jamie James. Uh, subtitle Life and Death in Pursuit of Knowledge. 
It's published by Hyperon in New York. Very, very good book. Uh, rest in peace, Joe. Here's another great generic book. Uh, Dangerous Australians, uh, besides, you know, Brian Fry and his current uh, craziness. Uh, um, this has got all the nasty critters in Australia. Uh, I picked it up when I was uh, uh, going on expedition to Australia because, uh, like I said, uh, you know, when you're out in the field, if you don't have the knowledge packed away from reading it uh, in a book somewhere, you can't and so easily dial up the internet to look something up or or email Viper Keeper, hey, there's this brown snake hanging off my nose. What do you think it is? What should I do? Uh, you got to know these things. Huh. Very nice uh, map. Uh, inside are our friends the uh, snakes and the funnel web spider, elapids, uh, well, of course Australia and elapid are, are one and the same. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. Oh, we've got the crocs. The good old salties will chew your ass off, uh, literally. Uh, the box jellyfish, so we got the uh, celenterates and uh, cephalopods, uh, the octopus that is. Uh, sharks. Uh, even Viper Keeper uh, stays away from sharks. He knows when his, uh, his ticket is punched. Death Adders and all sorts of cool stuff, including uh, uh, some more of the spiders, the uh, Redback, uh, Fiddleback Spider, which is a, a lesser known, the Australian Scrub Tick, which is a paralytic tick. It secretes a neurotoxin and can actually kill you. Uh, very cool little sucker. Uh, oh, and, and our favorite thing, leeches. Uh, you know, they're they're not gonna kill you. They just they just want to suck your blood. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. And then uh, centipedes and, and cool stuff like that. Wasps and bees. Um, you know, you gotta watch out for those bullet ants in uh, in Australia. Those things are called bullet ants because people say that it's like getting shot. But I haven't been shot. Uh, I'm working on that, and uh, that's uh, uh, hard for me to imagine, but it's got to be painful. And then the marine creatures and, and all sorts of cool stuff, including uh, first aid and, and all sorts of neat things. This is a Murdoch book. Um, it is compiled by the editors and writers of the Living Australia magazine. Let's see. Yes, it's Murdoch uh, Books. Um, and that's the best I can do. Uh, you know, Amazon or something like that will have it. Let me put my little map here of the Sydney area. Now, these are fantastic. Now, these are these little books, part of the uh, Chimaria series, are just fantastic guides to particular regions of snakes. I, you, you can't get more detailed on the animals. They even have a key to the species. And unless you're, you know, a real uh, uh, biologist, uh, you don't know what a key to a species is. But uh, a key to a species basically tells you what physical attributes to look for on the snake to be able to identify it if you have an unknown snake. So it basically says, you know, in, in each, uh, basically it's a process of elimination. Uh, it says, uh, like just for instance, ventral broader than long, then you go to section eight. No broad ventrals, you go to section two. Nasal and ocular scales line with mouth, go to 14 scales around the mid-body go to section three. Nasal and ocular scales do not line in mouth. 
11 to 36 scales around mid-body go to section 4. So what this does is it allows you to do a process of elimination to come up with reduce the number of possibilities of, of what snake you're actually dealing with. Hi Knuckles. <clears throat> and you know it's got colubridae inside, it's got uh, you know every snake that's found in, in the Pakistani region including our our friends the Russell's Vipers and the Trans-Caspian uh, Soft Scales, the Echis Multisquamatus, uh, you know doubtful species of Pakistan which you know may or may not be found there uh, uh, they're just not entirely sure this is a well done book by Mohammed Sharif Khan uh, a famous uh, herpetologist in Pakistan with lots of very nice uh, uh, pictures of, of snakes and stuff and, and here check this out this is really cool look at those guys they're non-venomous saw scale mimics. I bet they have a behavior that they saw scale to try to fool people in, in threats and to leaving them the hell alone. Uh, how cool is that? Um, you know, you'll see uh, all sorts of snakes that you've never seen and then it talks about their natural history and, and characteristics. Uh, again, it's a guide to snakes of Pakistan. And it's uh, uh, published by, oh geez. You know, I really, really love the German people and stuff, but, you know, they always try to string so many letters together to make a word. It's like alphabet soup. So, uh, here, you can uh, look at it yourself and figure it out. I'm not going to say it. So that's the publisher information if you, uh, would like to order that. Holy cow, I've blabbed uh, for a long time. I might have to cut this. Uh, what I'll do is I'll slice and dice it into two parts. I received no compensation from any of the authors or publishing companies. I just did this as a service to my uh, viewer community so they can uh, get these fine books themselves. That's my disclaimer.